Welcome back to another video. Today, we're actually gonna be hopping on the ice with the video we shot last winter. We're going out with Brian Brosdahl, and we're gonna be showing off the brand new Bro Bug Spoon. Now, this is a really cool, slender profile spoon that I actually had quite a bit of success with last hard water season. And in this video, we're gonna be showing off some big giant jumbo perch. So without further ado, let's show off some big fish. Oh, look at that one. That one just wolfed down that bro bug spoon. The nice thing about the bro bug spoon, it looks just like an emerging insect. It's got the little eyes, as you can see here. There's little, little tiny eyes put on there. And it's got, they're all got great colors, but this one really stared at it and decided to eat. What a big jumble. Look at that slab. Now before we go too deep on presentation and this brand new spoon, let's get a quick master class from Bro on wintertime perch location. Today we're fishing a basin, but we're fishing a contact point, like a little bottleneck. And if you go into just a big open basin, there's a lot of water to fish. So we want to make good contact with the fish. So we're fishing a little edge that saddles and bottles necks into another big basin and the fish are moving through. Now there's not a steady stream of them, but they're nice fish. And these are the cryptic spots that I like to find that typically you could have all to yourself and there's not a soul around. Now Bro is truly like a perch magician. He has caught so many big fish all over the perch belt and uh, it seems like he just has a sixth scent. Like he knows where they live, he knows where they're moving and when I've fished with Bro there's been two primary types of spots that we've fished and Bro's gonna break those down right now. You know there's different spots where you're gonna be drilling for every 10 holes you'll get a couple of perch. So you're drilling all day long just to get a handful of perch. And there's other spots where the perch just keep cycling through. There's always a crowd of small perch, little school of hang around perch. When they disappear, you know the big ones are coming through. Uh, but these areas are great areas because if, if you like to run and gun, I, I do too, but there's a time and a place to sit and hammer them. Channels and bottlenecks or, or lake basin meets another basin. Uh, these are areas that are going to be busy all the time. And add insect life, and you'll know there's insect life if you see other fish showing up too, whether they're tula bees or suckers or anything. That means there's, there's blood worms and there's feasting going on. These areas will hold fish. And the areas you have to drill out, big flats, large expansive flats with car beds. You might have to drill just to find the right one, the one that has the most plume, most cover. But today, we're fishing a basin, we're at necks down and catching fish like crazy without moving. Now, as promised, we're gonna break down this little guy right here, the Bro Bug Spoon, which is really a cool, unique bait. It's got that slender profile, which helps it get down in a hurry, but it also has these awesome little buggy eyes on either side. And if you take a closer look at this bait, it's really got a lot of unique details and things that make it different from other spoons out on the market. So it comes in a quarter ounce,r an eighth ounce,r and a sixteenth ounce option. This little one here works really well. That's true wonder bread without the purple. Great color. The big fish just came out of the school of perch and grabbed it. And that uh, tumbling and falling action is good. We're in about 20 feet of water here and you could use any of the sizes, but uh, right now uh, we were using uh, 16 ounce here earlier, and I tried a quarter. Quarter was just too big, and they're kind of shying away from it. The the pressure's right, uh, just might be a little bit low. So going with a little bit smaller bait, and they're just crushing it. Now people always love when we talk about colors and. This particular spoon comes in a bunch of really cool colors. It's got the glow, it's got bright colors, natural colors, it's got metallic colors. So Bro's gonna go a little deeper on when he likes to use different colors in the Bro Bug Spoon. The metallics, if, if you're on a, a Great Lakes Emerald Shiner bite, that's gonna be what you want. It's got the little tiny eyes. You can, if you look in there, you see the eyes, and it's got the scale pattern. So it could fall, fall as an insect or a small minnow. Uh, do you like glow? Do you like orange? Or do you like a nice metallic color? 
it's all in this one really cool all wrapped up cool patterns with the eyes uh, red and glow glossy backside has slight back black and then real bright glow red now one of my favorites green chartreuse look at the orange look at those dots kind of looks like some of them great lakes crankbaits you'd see you'd see out there just cool colors and this has been a hot one for us today in the 16th that's purple wonder bread really cool and all of them have eyes they drop fast and when you jig them they go to the side and they shimmy and that's been the thing uh there's another pink tiger of course and and hot tiger um great patterns i've had a lot of success already this winter i've tried them and gonna be great now obviously we got into some big jumbo perch on this particular trip and bro talks a little bit about how he likes to use this spoon for walleye fishing as well in particular this biggest quarter ounce size but it's also a great spoon for pan fishing now obviously most of you will think yeah of course nice little slender profile this is going to be a great crappie bait but bro also likes to use this for bluegills now i'm going to let bro talk a little bit about why he thinks this is such a good bluegill bait spoons are super uh, for fishing bluegills one of the best baits you'll use because there's a double action activity uh the treble hook the the uh, split ring move and make noise and there's times when spoons just outfish anything else for big bluegills as, as well as crappies and i'll put a spoon on any time i know there's big bluegills around it load it up drop it down and just shimmy it but it will outfish a jig style bait a lot of times especially if their activity level is low or if it's high it, you could just get them to go so i always have a spoon tied on the bro bug spoons an ideal bait for bluegills because it looks like a little insect and bluegills will feed on young of the year perch or small minnows right before their spawn so late ice or even in the middle of the winter it looks like a little snack to them now i personally have not spent a ton of time fishing spoons for bluegills but it's something i'm definitely going to try more this winter especially with this little 16th ounce or a couple worms on the bottom when i know that i'm in an area where there's going to be some bigger plus size bluegills i think i'm going to experiment a little bit more with spoons this winter when i'm chasing panties but hopefully you learned something in this video we had a good mix of some locational tips and some talk about a new bait so hopefully you got something out of this video if you enjoyed it make sure to hit that little red subscribe button down below because we have a lot more awesome content coming your way and we will see you in the next one